So this video is going to be about how to change a brake pad. I know a lot of people watching this video probably know how to do it, but this video is intended for people who want to save money three to four hundred dollars from changing um, their brake pad on their own. Most important part of the changing the brake pad is lifting up the car because this will determine if you're going to get the job done correctly or if you are going to get hurt on the job. So very important, please watch my video about how to safely lift up the video. Uh, once you have the car lift up, then you have to move the wheel. Um, in this case, I used a pneumatic gun. That's because I have a pancake um, air compressor, which I was able to use to make my job easier. You could use your manual uh, ratchet, uh, manual tool that comes with the car to take the uh, wheel off. I've done that in the past. Um, it, it does take a long time. But if you have a gun, you could get that. I also have an electrical gun that I used, uh, an electrical compact gun, which I used to move the wheel. Trust me, if you could invest on that, it saves so much time. Uh, then trying to use the manual uh, socket and the handle that it comes with the car. Uh, but either way, you could do it. So you see the rope over there. I, in this case, I'm using the rope for instructional purposes because in some cases you won't be able to do what, what I did. You will see later on in the video uh, that rope is there to hold it in place while I work with the wheel. You don't want the caliper to fall off and rip the uh, brake line that is connected, the flexible brake line. So once you have it off, get a brush. In this case, I didn't have a brush. Um, and wipe off the boot before you back it up. Uh, you want to wipe off the rubber, uh, you know, the dust and dirt that you have on the boot. Wipe that off so that when you retrieve the cylinder of the caliper back in place, you won't retrieve it with the dust and dirt. So you see these brake pads, they're ready to go. One of them actually left the world. It got worn out. Um, so it was about, it got so worn that the, uh, it was cutting into the rotor. This rotor, particular rotor looks good. But if you have the money, you want to change it, you can. This is the time to do it. In my case, I plan to do it next year. So I'm just changing the pad uh, of this Toyota Sienna uh, to show you how to do it and also uh, to um, benefit from better braking, basically. So how you know your brakes are gone, when you take your car for inspection, they're supposed to remove one of the wheel. And when they remove it, the mechanics will know, hey, you need pads. Uh, or if you notice you got long braking for example you step on the paddle and uh and when you brake if it doesn't feel firm if it, it feels like uh you know you gotta brake some more i mean after driving for a while you, you kind of feel your car when you start feeling that you need more brake force from you that means your pads are gone uh or it's going which is better to replace it so first very important is to uh, you know get off any old padding that you had in the past you get the padding off and um, Any kind of hardware that comes with it when you have a new pads um, It's good to replace it because you're not planning on coming into this job every month This is more like a year or two. It's gonna last you with the new pads um, You could take it to the mechanic if you're not comfortable but this channel is about showing people how to do uh, this type of job. Uh, you know, if you feel comfortable, you could do it. I don't see a harm in it. You have all the time in the world to figure this out. Um, you know, you watch the video carefully. Not only my video, any video in topic uh, you watch, uh, you do your research on your own and you do it for the first day. And once you do it, you'll build your own confidence and you'll be able to do this job. So what I want to show you before I did all of that, I've already um, removed the uh, cover uh, and um, I uh, opened the brake cylinder reservoir uh, uh, just a bit, just give, um, it's just to show you, you see the level drop to a bare minimum, which is actually dangerous. If, we, if the brake uh, fluid level drops even more, there's a possibility that air might enter your uh, brake lines and your braking system, which is going to cause spongy feeling when you are braking and you may not get 100% brakes. So I'm using this C-clamp to push the cylinder back. So before I was going to do that, as you saw, it's very important to open the reservoir cap. So, so that, why? Because when you retrieve the brake cylinder uh, to its original place all the way back so that you could make room for the padding, uh, when you do that, 
uh, some of the fluid that's starting the line, hydraulic fluid, uh, it works same like the hydraulic fluid does. The brake fluid would be in the reservoir. Some of the fluid that when you push the cylinder in, some of the fluid is going to move up into the cylinder to the reservoir. So let's say I have a lot of fluid there and the gap here is so much that if I push it, it wants to spill open. So if it wants to spill open, which I don't expect to, now guess what? By leaving the cover open, it can spill open, which I don't think will happen. To give the fluid more room to let that air that was there between the cover and the fluid, push the air out and push the fluid in place of the air. That's why I left the cover open. So I, we got the new pads here. Uh, you see the difference between the new pad and the old pad. And it all, all the pads come with the hardware. So when you go to the store, before you come home, open up the box in front of the cashier, you know, make sure you have these hardwares. Because sometimes the manufacturer may not give these hardwares. I've never found, I was never in that situation, but you never know. People do make mistakes uh, or maybe the owner had uh, moved it, whatever, the, or somebody returned it. So it's always a good idea to check you have all your hardwares in to do your padding. Uh, once you have that, you know, uh, all you have to do is, um, you know, replace everything which we did and just place the brake pad in place of where the old brake pads were. So um, uh, it's a good idea. I don't know if you could see it. I, I wish I, I had a video of turning the steering wheel. So I've actually turned the steering wheel pointing out uh, so that I could have better access to the wheel and where the brake pads is going to go. So you want everything in place. You see there is nothing sticking out. It's lined up, everything. And luckily these days the brake pads already come coated. Uh, back in the days we used to spray um, paint on it to prevent from uh, noise and other, other things. Now the brake pads come ready for install. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm basically replacing the brake pad exactly the way I had the old ones. So once you have that, you just slide the caliper in because remember, I already pushed back the cylinders of the caliper. So the caliper is just gonna fit right in. In some cases, you will have issues, like I'm having slight issue here. So uh, you would have to move the, uh, the, the nut uh, in that's on steering knuckle. Uh, a little bit you might have to move it back and forth to allow the caliper in because remember you have new uh, brake pads and it has new meat on it a lot of meat on it now so you're gonna have to wiggle a little bit to get it in place so just like tires it's a good idea to change in pairs but braking especially if you're gonna change the brake pads please change the front together and the rears together you don't have to do all four at once uh, but if they need, don't just change one wheel. Change in pairs, front together and rear together. If you like this video, you find it useful, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share. It will really, really help me make more videos and be more useful to the public who's watching the video. As always, thank you for your time and watch. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment, any suggestion, uh, any other videos you like to see. I would really appreciate your input.